A Twin Cities suburb has cemented its place in history. It's being recognized for its historic Main Street. Hopkins Commercial Historic District has been added to the National Register of Historic Places. It includes a section between 8th and 11th Avenues downtown. Kate Raddick shares what makes historic Hopkins so special. And it's always been special. Charles once lived in an apartment on Main Street in downtown Hopkins. He's lived in Hopkins for 72 years. It's really the people who, the families who are here, who, and it's their stories that we continue to tell. This area of Main Street, which includes 32 buildings, is now nationally recognized by the National Park Service on their National Register of Historic Places. The city and Hopkins Historical Society announced the news in front of the historic clock tower plaza on Tuesday. This historic designation means economic opportunities for Hopkins. I know that this historic designation means so many people will discover the beauty of Hopkins. It's great to have this recognition nationally as a this historic designation for our cities. Drive down Main Street and it's hard to miss the history from old buildings to multiple antique shops in the three block radius. One of the oldest businesses on the block is Bongos and Buds Music Center. The store has been here since 1955. Many of the buildings in the commercial district are a dose of nostalgia. Hopkins is a small town sitting in the shadow of a major city. So it's very Mayberry-esque. With new businesses and the light rail coming into the city, residents are glad it's being recognized for the old and the new. It just has so much charm to it and it's just, it's just friendly. I always want to stay here. Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. The mayor of Hopkins says that the honor will also encourage the preservation of historic buildings. A listing in the National Register provides opportunities for state and federal tax credits.